going guys? My name is Matthew Zeffi. This is pretty much the first tutorial I've ever done on YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, natively edit 4K video in Premiere Pro, the newest version, that's 2017. And um, yeah, let's get to it. Alright guys, so obviously you're going to start off by making a new project or just jumping into whatever project you're working in. So I'm going to label this uh, 4K tutorial and um, I already picked my folder. But basically to do this, to edit these 4K files, we are going to create proxies. Now to have Premiere pretty much do this for us, you could of course do this in Media Encoder separately, but we want to set ingest settings, which makes it much easier. So we're gonna come back, come down to ingest, create proxies, and now we're gonna pick a preset for our proxies. Now I've kind of experimented here, I've tried a few different presets Lately, I've been sticking to 720 GoPro Cineform. I found that it works best. Um, why I choose 720, I just find that it's it's best for me. I've tried Apple ProRes proxies as well. Either one um, should be good for you on most computers. Like I said, this should work well on most computers and you should be able to edit pretty smoothly. Um, so proxy destination, this is pretty much where it's gonna store these proxy files. So I'm actually just going to keep it same as the project file, or you could obviously choose your own location. In the past, I've also used, um, I've actually put the proxies on Creative Cloud. Um, if you're not familiar with it, it's kind of similar to Dropbox. It's actually really convenient. So now I'm going to go ahead and open this project. So I'm just going to make a bin real quick for my media, and I'm going to import. I have some footage already set aside. So once I click import, it's gonna open Media Encoder and that's where um, the ingest settings from before came into play. But actually, real quick, I want to highlight the fact that if you didn't set your ingest settings before, what you can do is you can come down here to uh, File, Project Settings, Ingest Settings, and so you can adjust this. And you know, if you're, if you're incorporating some non-4K footage too, um, and you wanna not ingest those, and downscale them to proxies. What you can do is actually turn the ingest setting off. You could actually do this down in that window as well. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and import these files now. And I'm going to speed it up because it's about to open Media Encoder. And um, I'd rather not have you guys wait here and watch, you know, paint dry. <laughs> so as you can see, it's opening Media Encoder. Now, the reason why you would want to do this, I mean, obviously, it's so you can edit 4K files on all computers. I mean, I don't, I personally do not have an amazing computer here. It's definitely good for me. Um, I've worked with much worse computers in the past and have gone through hell with them. But uh, I think it's extremely nice that you're able to do this now. This is actually a pretty quick wonder time, so that's kind of impressive. Um, the Mac that I'm editing, it, editing with is not top spec. It is it is a good Mac, um, but it's by no means the best one out there, of course. But yeah, the way that I'm about to show you guys, I believe it's pretty recent. I don't think that Premiere has had this feature forever. I used to have to relink media and stuff like that, so I would make them offline first, and then um, link by proxies. And the reason why this was so frustrating for me was, I mean, it would, of course, it wasn't as frustrating as editing actual 4K files. And um, the reason why it was kind of annoying was sequence settings. You know, you have to, if you're setting it to 4K, then you're going to have to either upscale, upscale your, um, your proxies to 4K resolution for the sequence settings, or you're going to have to just change your sequence settings once you actually pull in the um, 4K clips eventually. But the new way that I'm about to show you guys uh, makes it much easier. I can almost guarantee that you'll be using it if you are editing 4K files on a, on a computer that can't really handle it too well. Alright, so we just finished up here and um, now all you have to do is exit out of Media Encoder and we're back here in Premiere. So one thing I want to point out is if you look at your clips, you'll notice that if you have proxy, the proxy metadata in here, it will say attached on all of these. 
And that's extremely important because that's pretty much entirely what this tutorial is about. Now, if for some reason they weren't attached or something happened, like for once, one time media encoder crashed for me, like I said, not a top spec Mac, um, what you can do is you could right click uh, your video file and you can come down to proxy and attach proxies and you could physically pull up um, the file in your computer. And make sure it says attached after that as well. That's why I like having proxy down there in the project window. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to create our sequence. Of course, um, you could do that one of two ways, new item sequence, or you could simply drag your clips. And that's, these sequence settings are already 4K. Um, this actually isn't entirely 4K. This is UHD, but the same principles pretty much apply for this. So for most of you, I'm assuming you don't have that right here. So what you have to do to enable these proxies, right now we're still looking at 4K um, footage. I'm actually going to move that because that isn't the prettiest clip I have. I'm not really going to bother cutting these up too much, but um, especially since they're still in 4K. But basically what you're going to want to do is you want to hit this plus mark over here, and you're going to want to grab this icon that says if you hover over it says toggle proxies and drag it down here click OK now to enable these proxies that are attached what we have to do is click this button bam just like that automatically all your proxies are linked and they're ready to be played back and you'll see that I have a ton of things ignore the footage please it was just a test video but um I have a ton of things open. I have Chrome with a million tabs open right now. It's kind of disturbing. I have um, I have a screen recording playing and a bunch of other things as well. And it's playing back extremely smoothly. Like I said, this isn't a top spec Mac. I believe you can do this on pretty much any computer. Obviously not one that you're going to grab from your attic. But um, yeah, it's, it's a pretty nice technique and I'm happy that Premiere added this and that's pretty much it now you can edit all your beautiful beach videos <laughs> in 4k and you can actually enjoy that 4k function on your camera and that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like and subscribe. That would be awesome to me. I'm really trying to pay attention to my channel more. Um, I have some vlogs and some other videos coming out soon, as well as some other tutorials. If you have any recommendations, make sure to leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time.